Damien Franchenko in 2019 at the booth of Aris Games. Roberto from Aris is going to tell us a little bit about Nightmarium. This is the second edition of a game that came out a couple of years ago, but it is the first English edition. So, Roberto, what is the game about? Okay, the game is about nightmares. Oh, <laughs> the, as you can guess by the name. Uh, about nightmares, which are uh, visualized as very strange, very weird creatures, which belongs to different uh, families uh, identified by their colors, by different uh, groups, and uh, the goal of the game is to be able to create a lineup of these monsters, building up a certain number of monsters and trying to prevent your opponent doing uh, doing the same. Mm -hmm. As you can see visually so speaking. So it's a set collection game with yeah. uh, monster with a monster building yeah, 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 element. Yeah, yeah. It's a very very good definition. The, um, there are a few twists in comparison to normal so typical mm -hmm. set collection because of the way you build monsters uh -huh. and the way that you create combos uh, and by activating a set. So the basic flow of the game is very, very simple. Every turn you have two actions. This action can be draw a card or discard as many cards as you want to draw more. This is necessary because of the mechanism with which you use to build monsters. You need to have the right cards so you have some way to cycle through your deck. Or you can play one card. So you can do a combination of these two. So you can like draw one and play one or play two cards and so on. When you play cards, you create your monsters, building them up from the legs up to the head. As you can see... So you the, have to start from the bottom. Yes, to start from the bottom. And uh, some cards are suitable to be played. So for example, this card can only be played as legs, this card can only be played uh, as a body, and this card can only be played as a head. But some of the stranger cards uh, can be both uh, uh, body and legs or can be say for example this one could be both oh, body but it could also be the head of a creature so you can put it like here for example so you see they combine in very different and interesting ways I might have I might have a nightmare about this <laughs> monster tonight yeah that, that, that's uh, that's quite possible in fact um, they as soon as you finish building up a creature, then you activate uh, head to but uh, head to legs uh, the special abilities of this creature. So the goal is to create the most twisted combos of these abilities so that you can maximize the effect of building up a creature. So some of the abilities will allow you to destroy the opponent's creature, some of the abilities will allow you to play more cards, some of the abilities will allow uh, you to draw more cards. So uh, as soon as you complete a combo, you activate a sequence of abilities which sometimes uh, can also start uh, some kind of loop. So for uh -huh. example, I can uh, behead an opponent creature and then use another ability which allows you to destroy a creature which is not complete to completely annihilate I see. the nightmare of an opponent. So, so create all, a combo. Yeah, all kind of combos. But in fact, the game is not so complex. There's a total of just six abilities. So even if they are iconized on the card, after a very few mm -hmm. minutes into the, so your first game, you are completely familiar with what they do. But trying to find the uh, most clever way to, to, to use them at the most is not so easy. The player who wins is the first player who completes a certain amount of monsters depending on how long you want your game to be from three monsters uh, up uh, that you, you can complete to, to It's a very mm -hmm. simple fast game, two to four players can play. It's, uh, and is it's the game like, available already? Yeah, yeah, the game is available now and uh, it's in stores uh, and uh, there was a first edition of this game uh, which was a kickstart a couple of years ago. Uh, this edition includes a mini expansion which was not uh, available before which is called the Legions of Horrors. Uh, essentially it's a, a variant system which enables you to use these cards uh, to freeze your monsters uh, in place uh, uh -huh. so that you can actually not uh, destroy these monsters anymore. So it gives the game a little bit more of a 
strategic if you want uh, a more considerate flow because the game can be very weird very uh -huh. uh, very fast very unpredictable with the legions of our expansions becomes a little more predictable a little more strategic well thank you thank you very much you're welcome